The DF-41 is China's most advanced intercontinental ballistic missile. The DF-41 is road and rail mobile intercontinental missile. It is estimated to have an operational range of 12,000 km to 15,000 km, which would make the longest range missile in operation. It would like to have top speed of Mach 25 and will be capable of delivering up to 10 MIR VED warheads. It is projected to be able to strike the continental United States within 30 minutes. U.S. concerned about report China expanding missile silos. One of the United States researchers, Jeffrey Lewis, has told that development is likely for the China's DF-41 ICBM or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. U.S. State Department said that the U.S. is concerned about China's rapid expansion of its nuclear capabilities. The Dongfan Sushi E or Dongfan 41 is a fourth generation Chinese solid fueled road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile. It is operated by the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force. DF 41 is the fourth and the latest generation of Dongfan series strategic missile developed by China. The Dongfang 41 is believed to be approximately 21 meter in length, 2.25 meter in diameter and 80,000 kilogram in weight. It is played probably carries either a single warhead or up to 10 MIRV with a total weight of 2,500 kilogram. Its warhead can be single 1 megaton nuclear warheads or a selectable yield of 20, 90 or 150 kT on each MIRV. It uses inertial guidance likely to be stellar updates and a GPS system which gives it an accuracy of 100 to 500 meter circular error probable or CEP. The DF-41 uses a three-stage solid propellant engine. AirPower Australia reported that the DF-41 was cancelled pre-2000 with the technology developed transferred to the DF-31A. It was incorrectly anticipated that the DF-41 would be delivered to the second artillery around the year 2010. Some military expert has expected that it would be unveiled at the 2009 National Parade. However, rehearsals of the military parade didn't feature this missile. The American conservative website of Washington Free Beacon reported in the August 2012 that the DF-41 had its first flight test on the July 24th of 2012. The Free Beacon reported in June 2014 that U.S. officials had to say by then that the DF-41 was test launched twice since 2012. In August 2015, the missile was flight tested for the fourth time. In the December of 2015, the missile was flight tested for the fifth time. In the April 2016, China successfully conducted its seventh test of DF-41 with two dummy warheads near the South China Sea, amid going tensions between Washington and Beijing about the area. On the January 23, 2017, China was reported to have deployed a strategic ballistic missile bridge on the Heilongjiang province bordering Russia along with another strategic ballistic missile bridge deploying to Xiangjiang. In the November 2017, just two days before US President Trump's visit to China, the DF-41 was tasted in the Gobi Desert. In the 1st October of 2019, China on its 70th anniversary displayed the missile in a large military parade. Initial development is expected to produce 10 to 20 missiles with the possibility of greater number in the future.
about half of those produced would like to be kept mobile via rail or road-based launchers, while the other half likely deployed in soil. The DF-41 is set to place the DF-5, but both will probably be kept operational to bluster PRC nuclear forces members. In March of 2021, new silos of the new DF-41 missile were under construction in Inner Mongolia, in a missile training area west of Yuhai. At least 16 silos have been identified with up to 119 silos under construction. According to the Pentagon, China has a warhead stockpiles in the low of 200s. The State Department said that the US is concerned about China's rapid expansion of its nuclear capabilities. Dear viewers, should America fear China's nuclear weapon? What do you think? Comment down below. And don't forget to like and share.